the Asset Preservation Hour. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Stuart Willis of Asset Preservation Wealth and Tax. Stuart, how are you today? Oh, living the dream. Having a good time. Ready for an amazing show. I'm ready how for an you? amazing show with you, and you are so incredibly busy. I'm doing very well. Thank you so much. Every time I see you, one week to the next, there's like another location that's either coming or it's open. Are you at like 55 now? Do you have like <laughs> 55 well, you, offices? You know, it's funny. So we're obviously, we're, <laughs> we're recording this in our Tempe. We call it Tempe. It's really South Phoenix. People get mad when I call it Tempe, but okay. It's right off the 143. It's south of the airport. Um, but, you know, we have our West Valley office over in Sun City Surprise. We are looking at kind of making it a little closer to the freeway there. Um, and we, uh, we so we have Tempe. We have Scottsdale, which is over on Scottsdale Road in Frank Lloyd Wright. So okay. it's right by the Frank Lloyd Wright Spire next to Capitol Grill and Maggiano. Super nice. convenient. Yeah. yeah, we made it more convenient for people in Scottsdale. Um, but good news. We are going to be breaking ground on our Gilbert office wow. any day now. We're, we're trying to lock this in here. Okay. Um, because, look, we're, we're, we're trying to make it convenient for people. Um, you know, people say, hey, you know, love your show, but I'm just not driving, you know, 40 minutes to your office. So I guess if you won't come to me, I'll come to you, all right? <laughs> the audience has spoken, and here we go. I love that because obviously you're such a wealth of knowledge, not only here in the state of Arizona, but let's talk about Las Vegas yeah. and Colorado. You're just yeah. everywhere. You know, it's funny. I have a, I have a friend that was, um, he was at a, uh, a night, or a day club. I guess in Vegas they have these, like, pool things and the guy's oh, my age okay. so he's way too old to be at a at a nightclub like <laughs> i'm certainly not going to be that creepy old dude at a bar or something like that at the nightclub uh but that was him and he was at one of those pool parties and he sends me a picture he's like dude what are you doing you're following me everywhere and because <laughs> because of our vegas tv show so i love good that. stuff yeah i know it's good oh mm -hmm. that's awesome well obviously there's so much news right now obviously Stuart, every channel that you have there's a different segment coming at you all the different information but i want to ask you right out of the gate the markets what is happening in the markets right now what are we seeing well, you know what? It certainly isn't horrible like it was last year, right? Yeah. We technically exited bear territory, got into bull territory. That could be changing back and forth. Uh, and look, it can it can change on a dime. Uh, you know, I jokingly say I'm a man of leisure, but you know, uh, last year proved that I couldn't be right. I, right. I, all my clients have my personal cell phone number, uh, so if they need to reach me, I don't care if it's a Sunday at 10 p.m. at night. I'm available. Um, you know, but yeah. but you know, you it's are. easy for me. It's easy because look, I have a simple rule. I don't do business with people I don't like, and you shouldn't either. And you know, I tell people all the time. If you don't like me on the TV show, you are not going to like me in person. Don't call me. I'll go ahead and give Cynthia's number out so you can call her. And, and, I don't and I'll know say, Emily Ford yeah. the Stewart. If you're looking to buy real estate in the Charlotte, uh, North Carolina area, <laughs> Cynthia is the one you want to talk to. Uh, but uh, no, it's 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 great. We have a great time, and we you know we we're building a great business with sure. great people and. Um, the, listen, I I feel like an evangelist. You know, the the message is carrying on about it tax is. efficiency. People, yeah. you know, uh, quite honestly, uh, the who's who of Arizona is replying to our TV show. Um, you know, yes. I had a big private equity guy, seven hundred million dollar of investable assets. You know, came in the other day, and you know that's a dream come true, right? When you say, hey, you know, when the leadership of America is coming in and saying, hey, we're interested in your message. That's a, that's a neat thing for me. It is a neat thing. And obviously, you also mentioned during our beginning of the show, before we started airing, he does yoga. So he's got everything in balance. I love how peaceful <laughs> yeah. he is. I mean, uh, no pun intended. This guy was hilarious. That's balance. Oh, yeah. He's like, well, yeah, balance, right? so to speak, right? <laughs> like, I don't know if he was in Downward Dog when he was watching my show. But, you know, it speaks to the fact that our shows are always on after the news, usually. And... And he, no, he said, hey, Stuart, I was in, I was watching, you know, I was doing my yoga yeah. and I heard this voice and it kept talking about a Roth conversion. So tell me more about it. And it's an interesting point because mm. when you're talking about a CEO of a really, yeah. really big private equity firm, right? Worth hundreds, yes. he's personally worth hundreds of millions of dollars. And he's asking me to explain a Roth to him. Wow. What that's saying to me is a guy that has some of the best lawyers, best tax people, still doesn't know this, that means that ordinary Americans don't know as well. Because this guy's yes. a genius. I mean, he's brilliant. 
but I had to explain it. And he's like, oh, wow, I had no idea that it grew tax free, all the principal and interest. And so yeah. so, it, it, so it was great. It was, you know, a, a, a neat conversation. And that is and that uh, is. Well, you're like I said, you're just a wealth of knowledge. But yeah. obviously all these different locations that you're in right now, Stuart, what are you hearing a lot from clients? Is there one main vein that people are kind of staying on when they're asking questions? Well, you know, I, I think we are in a shifting environment. Obviously, what we're seeing today is a lot different than what we saw a year ago, two years ago. Um, you know, look, interest rates have skyrocketed. We have some mm -hmm. of the best fixed long-term rates that we've seen in my entire career. Mm -hmm. You know, we're at uh, where we were, what, 2007 or so in terms of the 10-year the, the treasury. So, I mean, it's we're in a really good spot. Absolutely. And I think that there's a mistake being made that people are, you know, using today's time period to compare you know, the past. So a lot of people bought fixed investments a year, two years ago. And look, quite honestly, the product today is just way better. CDs are better, annuities are better mm -hmm. on the fixed side. If you get the right one, there are bad annuities out mm -hmm. there. And I'm telling you, you wanna know the difference between the good and the bad, and we can talk about that later. But look, it, it, it's just like, you know, when you buy a house, right? Um, you know, the best time to buy a house is when interest rates are high mm -hmm. so that you can refinance as interest rates fall, right? That's why Absolutely. we saw this massive real estate inflation, sure right? Where, infl you know, housing prices went through the roof because we were in this declining interest rate environment. Yes. Right, I have a house, yes. you know, here in Arizona in Scottsdale where, look, even if I want to sell the house and buy another house, I don't know that I ever would sell that house. Even if, look, I would want to take the money out, but but I've got a two and a half percent 30 year mortgage. Which is fantastic. It's cheap, yeah, it's free money. It's perfect. Right? Perfect. Well, the same thing is true, but opposite when it comes to your investments. You know, the same way that you refinanced your house if you had a mortgage, you also want to think about refinancing your portfolio. We're in a way better long-term interest rate environment. There are products out there that will, you know, carry this rate for a long period of time because the mistake is, look, you look at money market accounts. Mm -hmm. You can see money market accounts, four or five percent. CD, same thing. Mm -hmm. But guess what? Those can turn on a dime. Cynthia, yeah. they can take those away. When those CDs mature, you know, imagine, you know, back 2017, 18, interest rates were higher. If, if you had a choice between a one-year CD and, that paid 5% and a 10-year CD that paid 5.2%, well, most people would pick the one year because right. why commit to 10 years? Right, right. you're right? Like 10, yeah. yeah. When you could commit to one year and get only 0.2% less. Sure. The problem is interest rates fell down a cliff, you know, after a year or two, but with a 10-year, it continued to pay and pay and pay. The mm -hmm. problem with the CD, you know, as a fixed instrument, is also that generally you can't even touch it until it matures. So mm -hmm. it's not an appropriate tool for all situations. Um, and uh, you know some of them allow you to take interest only out. So you want more liquidity in your fixed products. And, and so if you're in a position mm -hmm. where you, know, you want a portion of your, of your portfolio, your retirement accounts, uh, secure, fixed, where you don't want it you know, to be susceptible to market volatility, mm -hmm. what we're offering is a complimentary portfolio review. Well, we, we will take a look at what kind of risk are you taking in your portfolio? Maybe you're exposed to those bonds that saw a drastic dive last year and are, are, you, are possessing a lot of risk in there and presenting risk that you just don't need to take, mm -hmm. right? Does it make sense to refinance your fixed portion of your account? Maybe so, maybe not. We'll take a look at the fees, the risk. All you have to do is take action. Give us a call at 833-602-7526. We can tell you whether or not a Roth conversion makes sense for you, but you have to take action. Click on that QR code. It'll take you to assetpreservation.com. We'd be glad to help. Stuart, thank you so much. To our viewers at home, that number to call is on your screen, 833-602-7526. We know that you have a lot of questions for Stuart about how to balance your portfolio and also probably about Roth conversions. He has the answers for you. If you have your smartphone handy, go ahead, grab it, click on that QR code at the bottom corner of your screen. That will take you right to the Asset Preservation Wealth and Tax landing page. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, I'm going to ask Stuart to explain more in depth what a Roth conversion is, and will it apply to you? Stay tuned. They've got quite an extensive resume. Wow, so many years of management. I thought that was fun. 
So this job requires basic knowledge of the social media and video platforms, content creation, and SEO. How proficient are you in those areas? Going back to work after retiring is not ideal. I'm Stuart Willis with Asset Preservation Wealth and Tax. If you have amassed a nest egg, it's time for a financial advisor to help you reach your retirement goals. We are in one of the greatest tax windows in history, so it makes sense to take advantage of this tax discount while you can with your partners in retirement. All of our expert advisors, CPAs, and enrolled agents are fiduciaries that specialize in retirement planning, tax mitigation, estate planning, and more. Plan your retirement right. Call right now for your own complimentary portfolio review and tax analysis. Welcome back to the Asset Preservation Hour. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Stuart Willis of Asset Preservation Wealth and Tax. Stuart, obviously in our first segment, you mentioned the high worth client coming in to speak with you, and you talked a little bit about the Roth conversion. Mm -hmm. I would love to spend some time with you in this segment, really trying to understand what exactly is a Roth conversion. Can we talk about that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, just to, to make it super clear, um, the best way to understand a Roth is to understand its counterpart, <clears throat> excuse me, the counterpart, it, it's an IRA or a 401k. Mm. Now, in an IRA or 401k, um, you basically get a tax deduction for putting away this money. Uh, technically, in a 401k, you just don't have to pay income tax. It's deferred on that income, so it's not a deduction per se. But um, you basically save taxes on what you put away. Mm. The problem is that as it grows, when you take it out, it's now taxable, okay? So all of the future withdrawals, all the growth, all the principal, everything is taxable. In a Roth, you don't get a tax deduction when you do it. Or now that with a Roth 401k, you don't get to, you still have to pay taxes on the income that you put into a Roth mm. up front, okay? The benefit, it's all tax free when you when you withdraw it. Wow. All of your interest, all your principal. Not only that, mm -hmm. it's invisible to social security tax, which oh. is huge, okay? So it's huge. And look, for some people that are concerned about the sunsetting tax rules that are going away in 2025, yeah. it's a big, big deal. I'm gonna pull this graphic up for uh, tax planning. Uh, it's, it's gonna show you the tax brackets. Um, and I, I pull this up every other show that I have, but this, what it'll do is these tax brackets will show you where we are today in the tax brackets compared to where we were in 2017. Hmm. Now, if you take a look at the graphic here in red, the red graphic is showing you where we are today, okay? Hmm. Now, the blue is where we were back in 2017. And the cool thing is this, okay? When you look at that graphic, and you understand, okay, well, the red is, uh, we were at 10% mm -hmm. to 12%. I'm sorry, yeah. if you go from 10 to 12, it's a small jump. 12 okay. to 22 is a huge jump. Mm -hmm. 22 to 24 is a small jump. Mm -hmm. Then 24 to 32 is a huge jump. Yes. So just understand, if Congress doesn't act, the tax laws are going to sunset and mm -hmm. go back to where it is in blue, at the end of three years. Wow. So we have three years to take advantage of these tax brackets, right? Wow. So most of our clients that are coming in aren't those $100 million clients. Look, yes, do we have people like that that mm -hmm. come to our office? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, but you know what? Our office is here to talk to everybody. If you've mm -hmm. saved $250,000 or more, um, you look, mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we're not here to discriminate. We're not, you know, mm -hmm. our noses aren't up in the air. We want to help Arizonans here, you know, prepare for retirement. But the goal is to basically use these tax brackets to your advantage mm -hmm. while they're low to take advantage of it. And I think it's an incredible opportunity because look, oftentimes people, when they file for social security, they don't realize it's taxable, yeah. right? And everyone always told you this whole time, you know, put this money away tax deferred. When you're retired, you're gonna pay, you're gonna be able to withdraw this at a lower income tax rate. And look, that may technically be true, but what no one considered is that when you start taking money out of your IRA, or your 401k, your thrift savings plan, you now are making Social Security potentially up to 85% taxable. A Roth is completely invisible to that. Wow. So it's a huge thing. Not only that, it passes to your heirs completely tax-free. Amazing. 
So I'm listening to you, Stuart, and obviously if the Roth is such an amazing tool and a concept, why aren't more advisors guiding people in that direction? Well, you know, I think there's a, a lot of reasons for that. I think, number one, um, I, it would start off with your tax people, right? Generally, when you see tax people, mm -hmm. they're saying, hey, if you just put 2,000 more into your 401k or put 2,000 into an IRA or 4,000 into here, you'll save X amount on taxes. And that's true. But the problem is they are trying to save you taxes today. Everyone mm. is so concerned about today. It's true. Right? I'll, I'll use an example. Um, I've talked about this before. One of my one of my great friends, one of my kids, uh, you know, trainers in basketball, he's a he's a coach at a local high school. Fantastic man. He's got a few kids that are all dependents. Well, look, teachers don't make a ton of money, mm -hmm. right? Even though he's at the higher level of them. Yeah. He's basically tax free, okay, after all of his deductions. Yet the financial advisor that visited him at the school is suggesting he put his money into a, a pre tax 403B. Wow. So why the heck would you put away money tax deferred when you don't pay taxes now? It's true. Right? It's, yeah, it's, it's I'm true. telling you, it's love them to death. These people yeah. are trying to help teachers, but oftentimes you're getting the guy who's kind of just starting his career. You're not, that doesn't understand. It's true. Have a tax plan, right? Don't defer taxes to when taxes are higher or when you're going to actually be paying taxes, right? But, you know, your original question is, you know, why aren't advisors suggesting yeah. it? One, oftentimes they don't understand it, okay? Number two, most most uh, most financial advisors are prohibited from their firms from giving tax advice. They're not mm -hmm. allowed to give tax advice. They're you know if you're working at a big box firm, you're strictly prohibited. Now some of the local competitors, I love this. Okay, you know what do they say? Imitation is a sincerest form of flattery. flattery absolutely. Right? So you know, look, there are other radio shows in, in another you know TV show that's kind of starting to mirror our conversation. Okay. That I love it. I love it. But at the end of the day, they don't have a tax department. Yeah. It's just someone talking because they know the message is working, right? They know, they know they're know they seeing, oh, my gosh, how, how come our yeah. advisors are leaving to go work with, you know, asset preservation? Yeah. Because we because these planners want access. These, these financial advisors want the best stuff for their clients. Sometimes they just don't have it. They're not given the tools at their firms. Either they're prohibited or the, or the smaller firms just don't have access to CPAs year round. Right. Mm. So that's number one. OK. But the more cynical side of me says, think about this. Last year, the market was down 20 percent or so. Right. Mm. So let's pretend a financial advisor manages $100 million in assets under management. Well, if last year, if the market went down 20%, his $100 million turned into, into $80 million. Do you really think he's now going to come to you and say, hey, you know what? I think you need to pay 24% tax on your IRAs. And where do most people get that from? Usually mm. they withhold it out of their IRAs, which is a mistake, by the way, if, if, if you don't have to. There's other ways to do it. But do you really think he's going to see his 80 million turn into, you know, 60, 65 million to, to have taxes paid? No, he's giving exactly. himself a massive tax cut yeah. because, look, A, they're worried about their current book. Look, these advisors, they go and they sell a bunch of clients mm -hmm. and then they cruise. They're golfing. I, look, I, I have Facebook friends all the time. I mentor yeah. advisors all over the country. You do. I'm like, how the heck are these guys golfing three days a week? How right. I'm working six days a week. There's yeah. no time. You know why? Because they cruise on their books of business. So remember, people never use their IRAs because they're so afraid to pay the tax bill that they feel trapped in retirement. Yeah. So if you're concerned that your financial advisor doesn't talk about taxes, isn't having the Roth conversion conversation, and you believe that the next three years, like I do, are going to go away, taxes mm -hmm. are going up. If you believe that like I do, then let's do an analysis to find out if a Roth conversion is right for you. If you have that concern, give us a call at 833-602-7526. We have operators standing by now. I know it's the weekend. I promise you, someone will answer your phone call. Click on that QR code. It'll take you to assetpreservation.com. Sign up for a complimentary, absolutely free portfolio review. And we'd be glad to give you a second opinion. But you have to take action. I'll do my part. It's time for you to do yours. Stuart, thank you so much to our viewers at home, 833-602-7526, 833-602-7526.
plan. We know that you have a lot of questions for Stuart, probably about tax planning, Roth conversions, and anything that's going to affect and in fact impact <laughs> your peaceful retirement. He has the answers for you. If you have your smartphone handy, go ahead, grab it, click on that QR code at the bottom corner of your screen. We're going to take a very short commercial break here on the Asset Preservation Hour. Don't go anywhere. I want to dive in a little bit deeper to understand what is the difference between tax preparation and tax planning. Stay tuned. We know the market is going to get worse from here. This is the biggest monthly decline in 10 years. People's 401ks took a major hit. Well, my investments are tanking. My retirement isn't going as planned. I can't believe I let my kid talk me into buying crypto. I mean, what is that anyway? This was the fourth worst contraction in history. So how are you two doing? Your financial future doesn't have to be uncertain. I'm Stuart Willis with Asset Preservation Wealth and Tax. If you have amassed a nest egg, it's time for a financial advisor to help you reach your retirement goals. We are in one of the greatest tax windows in history, so it makes sense to take advantage of this tax discount while you can with your partners in retirement. All of our expert advisors, CPAs, and enrolled agents are fiduciaries that specialize in retirement planning, tax mitigation, estate planning, and more. Plan your retirement right. Call right now for your own complimentary portfolio review and tax analysis. Welcome back to the Asset Preservation Hour. My name is Cynthia DeFazio, and I'm joined today by Stuart Willis of Asset Preservation Wealth and Tax. Getting a little tongue-tied there, Stuart, because obviously I'm hearing all this information, my wheels are spinning, but I definitely want to dive in further right now, if we could, for the viewers at home. What is the difference between tax preparation and tax planning? Yeah, I mean, look, a lot of people, when we talk about taxes, they say, well, I've got my tax guy. Well, generally what that means is I've got someone that does my taxes for me, that prepares my taxes. Mm -hmm. And, you know, tax planning is a whole different thing. Tax planning isn't when you just look at last year to see what you could do to get more deductions and so forth. Mm -hmm. Super important, but they're different. Tax planning is about looking forward. How do we plan for the future to save taxes, not just this year, not just next year, but for the rest of your retirement, mm. right? Now, there are assumptions that are out of our control, right? There, I, we believe taxes are going up. I think, just remember, when, when the Tax Cut and Jobs Act was signed into law in, you know, in 2017, it was during one of the greatest economies the world's ever seen. But we're in this crazy polarized, you know, environment where Democrats and Republicans just don't get along, yeah. right? And, you know, we are not in that position today. We've spent trillions of dollars in stimulus money, you know, and now we've got to pay that back, yeah. right? It's true. And so I believe it's very unlikely that taxes that taxes are going to, you know, be renewed at this lower rate. We believe it's important to take advantage of this, these lower taxes right now. But, sure. But tax planning is about looking at, you know, about capital gains, harvesting, Roth conversions, mm -hmm. all of those tools, using them all to your advantage. And I'll tell you, you know, it, it's funny because I, I think I'm incredibly blessed. Um, mm -hmm. First to have you to work with oh, for now, you. what, almost four years, four three and a half years. Um, yeah. And, and, you know, when the show started, you know, we started filming in Charlotte, North yes, Carolina years did. ago, right? Fantastic memories. Um, and when we were filming, I remember flying to Charlotte to film this show and we would stay um, at, at one of the, was it a Hampton we Inn hotel? Hampton Inn, yes. And it was a Hampton Inn, but a really, really nice Hampton Inn. And next to it was the Palm yep, Restaurant, Steakhouse. right? Absolutely. I remember our group kept that company in business because it was, a, it was a ghost town. There was nobody. It was, in the, it was in the middle of COVID here, right? Yes. January, February of 2020. And it just kept getting worse and worse and worse. And so the TV show came on when, you know, and we had to stop doing live events. Yeah. You know, our company used to do tons of live events, yeah. you know, at, at libraries, restaurants, all that stuff. And the TV show, show came on and all of a sudden, you know, I had an advisor that actually stopped working with me because he said, oh, my gosh, I'm going to go become a mortgage guy because, you know, you can't That's do seminars true. anymore. Right. And now the TV show hits. And of yeah. course, we multiply. Oh. I mean, we just it's just a blessing. Right. Uh, you know, unfortunately, during the downside of covid, our company grew tremendously. Yes. But you know what? COVID's over now, you know? And by yeah. the way, I have a Google review that says COVID's not over. I'm declaring it over, okay? It's over. <laughs> 
You know, it's over. Okay. It's done. We're moving on. Right? <laughs> but here's a cool thing. We're doing live events again. Yeah. Here in Arizona, we have live events. If you go to assetpreservation.com, we can have these conversations uh, also, mm -hmm. you know, on in, in these seminars, right? So we're talking about all kinds of neat things, the psychology of investing, Roth conversions, tax planning, all that stuff. So go to the assetpreservation.com website and look at the live events tab and, and we'll show you. But I love it. I love meeting people in person. I you love do. the audience. You know, I try to have kind of an upbeat conversation about finance. It's a good time. Oh, my gosh. Well, I know it was very difficult for you when you were just doing only the Zoom because you are that kind of person that people want to come in. They want to sit with. You shake hands. You take the time to get to know them. And I've heard this from so many people that have become your client. They feel, Stuart, that you give them one-on-one -on -one attention, even yeah. though you're so extremely busy. Yeah. I mean, look, all of our advisors, you know, we have a pretty strict rule. You know, this is an in-person deal. Mm -hmm. um, look, some people can only Zoom, but here's the thing, uh, you know, there, there's, you know, we've been hearing a lot of clients have been coming on board, uh, moving away from another local firm because basically the other firm had a closer, a financial advisor that came in and sold them, and then they moved them to some call center or, or some, you know, in, in Texas, where they now have to have a Zoom conversation with someone they don't even know. Wow. And there's never any personal connection. You know, I tell yeah. people all the time, right? I've said it before on this show. I said it, may have said it at the beginning. If you don't like me in person or on the TV show, you're not going to like me in person. Don't call. Find someone you like, someone you enjoy, mm -hmm. an advisor that you can communicate with, because communication is everything. It mm -hmm. matters. You need to have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your advisor. And if you think you're missing that, if you think that you just don't have that and you're looking for that, to be able to get that real, mm -hmm. real information. Because look, sometimes people call and they say, hey, this may be a dumb question, but no, it's not a dumb question. Yeah. If it's on your mind, it matters. This is your life savings. Absolutely. If you're not getting that kind of attention, if they've pushed you off to a call center or they pushed you off to Zoom meetings and you want in person, Give us a call. Let's see if we're the right fit at 833-602-7526. We'd be glad to give you that second opinion, but you have to take action. Click on that QR code. It'll take you to assetpreservation.com. We'd be glad to help. Stuart, thank you so much. Most specifically, thank you to our viewing audience for spending time with us today on the Asset Preservation Hour with Stuart Willis. We know that you have a lot of questions for him. Don't miss the opportunity to call in 833-602-7526. Again, thank you for spending time with us. Be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We look forward to seeing you back here one week from today on the Asset Preservation Hour.